What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another ARC video for you guys today and I know we're a bit late to the party but today guys we'll be going over the new kibble recipes. Now I'm not 100% sure if I've seen people out there coming out with videos of these but we thought we'd cover it anyway for all you guys out there so without further ado let's jump into it. Now guys, first off, what you're going to need is definitely invest in the cooker, an industrial cooker. It is possible to do it with the uh, cooking pot, however it's going to be a crap ton easier with your industrial cooker. So make sure you invest in one of these bad boys because they are really worth it. Now you'll see here we will be using the S Plus one, not the basic one. Now the main difference between these two is the water intake, you can see this one has a thousand, this one has a hundred thousand. This one only has 48 slots while this one has 100 slots. Now another real big thing that you'll notice real quick is that this has no recipes inside of it. The S Plus one has actual recipes inside of it which is incredible. So guys, what we're going to be doing is you can see here all the recipes. Now the recipes for all the kibble are in here as well. We're not going to be going over that. We'll be using our own one. We'll be using this for cooking it. Actually, screw it. You know what? We're going to use this bad boy just so we can show you guys that it actually works. Okay, so you can see here we've got a ton of resources in our inventory. Let's turn that on. There we go. All right, so this cooker's on. Now, guys, there are five levels of kibbles. You've got basic, simple, regular, superior, exceptional, and extraordinary. Wait, that makes six, doesn't it? Anyway, it doesn't matter about my maths. So each of these requires a different amount of resources, different types of resources, as well as different kinds of eggs. So first off, we'll be going over the basic kibbles. All right, guys. So the recipe for the basic kibble, you need tinto berries, amar berries, fiber, cooked meat, mijo berries, and then your first basic egg. Now, or an extra small egg. Now, extra small eggs classify as dillo eggs, dodo eggs, feather flight eggs, kairuku eggs, listro eggs, parasaur eggs, tech parasaur eggs, and vulture eggs. We've got parasaur eggs here because they're probably going to be the most common ones. Well, they won't be the most common ones. Dodo eggs will probably be the most common ones and the most accessible because there are dodos bloody everywhere. So chuck this in to your industrial cooker and you'll see that it'll slowly start cooking up. There's our basic kibble. Now, this basic kibble is used to pretty much tame dillos, dodos, kairukus, parasaurs, pheomias, and passively tame up mesopithecuses. So pretty much the eggs that you get are the eggs you are the dinos that you're going to use this kibble on now you can currently see here all the basic kibbles being cooked up so it's 10 berries of each except for the major berries which is five and other than that it's pretty self-explanatory there's your basic kibble all done now i would recommend getting a, an industrial cooker because it will be a lot easier to use an industrial cooker than a cooking pot it is still possible However, it is a lot easier in an industrial cooker. Alrighty guys, so on to the next kibble recipe, which is the simple kibble recipe. This one is pretty similar to the basic one. So you will need mijo berries, you will need fiber, you will need rock carrot. As soon as we find our rock carrot, here it is up here. Two rock carrots is what you need, five mijo berries, five fiber, and cooked fish meat. Now you also need the small eggs. Now, small eggs are classified as a lot of dinos. So we'll put up a little picture of what dinos classify as small eggs. However, the probably most common one you guys will have are raptors and trike eggs. So we've got raptor eggs here. We're gonna chuck those in and we are gonna watch this kibble cook up. There you go, you can already see there, we've got simple kibble coming out of our ears. As soon as that all cooks up and you can see the resources being used, five mijo berries, five fiber, two rock carrot, one cooked fish meat, one egg, and you've got yourself your kibble. Just like that, it's that simple. Now, the simple kibble is pretty much used to tame Archaeopteryxes, Diplocaluses, Gallimimuses, Iguanodons, Megaloceruses, Morellatops, Pachys, Raptors, and Triceratops, as well as to passively tame up giant bees and ichthy Ichthyosauruses. God damn, I always struggle to say their names. So guys, that's what you use that kibble for. Let's move on to the next kibble. Now the next kibble is regular kibble. This kibble, I mean, this is where they start sort of getting a little bit more difficult because you start needing your veggies and stuff like that and jerky. So for this one, you're gonna need fiber. You're going to need regular cooked meat to jerky. So that's just cooked meat that's been turned into jerky. It's really easy to do. You just need your preserving bin. You also need sava root as well as long grass. Now you'll then also need the eggs of your choice. 
I've decided to go with Stegos here. We'll leave a list of medium sized eggs as well in the video. Not a list, sorry, a picture for you guys to see because there are a lot. And we're not going to go through and start naming them all, otherwise we'll be here for a bloody half an hour. So we're going to chuck the Stego egg in and you'll see that we'll start getting our regular kibble. Now, regular kibble as well can is the main sort of kibble that you guys want to go for. That is what you use to tame pretty much a majority of the dinos in Ark. We'll leave a picture up of what you can tame with the regular kibble. Once again, we're not going to say all the names of the bloody dinos, otherwise we'll be here forever. So that's the regular kibble all done and dusted. Let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, so the next kibble is the superior kibble. Hoo -hoo, you know you're getting into the thick end of things when it's coming up superior. So for this, you're going to need citronel. You are also going to need prime meat jerky, as well as fiber, rare mushrooms, and sap. That's right, you heard me correctly, sap. You can see there, there's our sap. Now that is all you need for the basic resources. You then need your large eggs. Now, large eggs, once again, we'll be using a picture for you guys to see, but your most common ones are probably gonna be RG eggs because everyone loves taming up their RGs. So we're gonna chuck the RG eggs in and boom, you guys will see that the kibble starts forming. There you go, there's your superior kibble. Now, you pretty much use superior kibble for a lot of other tames as well. Superior and regular are probably the most used kibbles, I think, to tame up the most stuff. Once again, we'll leave a picture for you guys to see through the video so you can see what exactly you're able to tame. But that's superior kibble. Let's move on to the second last kibble. So the next kibble is the exceptional kibble. Now, once again, you're gonna need your fiber. Fiber is very relevant for all of the kibble recipes. You'll also need mijo berries for this one. Next up, you're going to need focal chili. Now, focal chili, in my opinion, is a pain in the butt to make but you can make it. It pretty much requires a bunch of different resources, which you can find on the Arc Wiki as well. You can make this in the cooking pot or the industrial cooker if you want to, but you want to chuck those in as well. You also want to place in rare flowers. Now, as for extra large eggs, you can see here that we have Rex eggs, but there are a couple of different other diners that have extra large eggs. You've got Basilisks, Brontos, Gigas, Quetzals, Tech Quetzals, Rex eggs, Tech Rex eggs, Therizino and UD eggs. So we're going to chuck our Rex eggs in now and you'll see, there we go, exceptional kibble. Now, exceptional kibble can be used to tame up Brontos, Gigas, Carcanoses, Monagamas, Mosasauruses, Quetzals, Rex, Spinosauruses, Theries, and to passively tame up Bacillosauruses. So obviously this is going to be used to tame up your big, strong carnivores. However, it's a good transition in order to tame up Gigas because this is the kibble you will use to tame up gigas. So you can tame up a couple of Rex, get some Rex eggs, and use their eggs to make kibble for gigas. So it's really good. So let's move on to the final kibble. Now, the final kibble is probably, in my opinion, the hardest one to make, just because of the amount of resources you need, and that is the extraordinary kibble. Now, for this, you're obviously going to need the fiber again. You're going to need a Lazarus chowder, which is very similar to the focal chili. You'll need a ton of different veggies and stuff like that. So we're going to chuck our Lazarus chowder in. You'll also need giant bee honey, which is a little bit more of a, a rarer resource in comparison to the other items on this list. So we'll chuck in some giant bee honey as well. Once again, you are going to need mijo berries as well. So make sure to chuck those in as well. Now, for the egg for this, you're actually gonna need special eggs. Now, special eggs are classified as wyvern eggs, rock drake eggs, and the golden hesperonis eggs. As you can see here, we've got a ton of fire wyvern eggs, so we're gonna chuck those in, and you'll see the kibble slowly being made up. There we go, boom. Extraordinary kibble is being made up. So, in my opinion, this is probably the hardest kibble to make, just because of the resources that you need. Now, this kibble is used to tame up griffins, Megalanias, Rock Elementals, Thylacolios, and Uteranus. I don't know why Thylacolios, Megalanias, and Griffins fall under this kibble, to be honest. It seems a bit dumb, in my opinion. The Uteranus and the Rock Elemental I can kind of get behind because they're stronger, tougher dudes. But uh, the, the Thylacolio and stuff, it's a, bit, uh, it's a bit of confusion there. But that's pretty much the recipes that you need, as well as the dinos you can tame up with their respective kibbles. So guys, let me know what you thought of the video down below. Let me know whether or not you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.